Hello and welcome to today's webinar session, which is about PACE support. It's an introduction to PACE and the support that's available to you. My name is Jennifer. I'm a careers advisor with Skills Development Scotland. Today I will be joined by a partner from DWP later in the presentation and will provide information on the range of organisations involved in delivering the peer service and the support that they can provide. This webinar is one of the range delivered by PACE and we'll tell you more about this later in the presentation. PACE is a Scottish Government initiative bringing together a number of agencies to provide support to those affected by redundancy and we'll tell you about these organisations in the webinar today. A PACE guide is available on redundancyscotland.co.uk which will also give you details of these agencies. We do understand this may be a difficult time for you and your family and we hope the information that we provide today will help you plan your next steps for moving forward. We do offer support beyond this workshop and we will give you full details of this during the session. And please remember that all PACE partners are here to help. So a bit of background about PACE. Scottish Government introduced PACE in the year 2000 in response to the large number of redundancies taking place at that time. And they decided that there was not one organisation who could deal with all the issues facing individuals at risk of redundancy, so brought together a number of key agencies, each of which has something to offer. We now have 24 organisations involved in the PACE partnership. At today's presentation, we'll describe the key agencies available to you from key partners which can help you. We'll also let you know what happens next and the ongoing support available to you after today. In addition, all contact information is available in the PACE guide. And you can also call the National Helpline on 0800 917 8000 or visit redundancyscotland.co.uk for advice on the full range of PACE services. We have a great new tool at redundancyscotland.co.uk. It's a short questionnaire to help you work out the organisations best suited to meet your needs now or in the future. And you can find that on the homepage at redundancyscotland.co.uk. So together, PACE partners can help you to understand the redundancy process, as well as your rights and entitlements. Check what benefits you may be entitled to and review your tax calculations. Gain practical advice on getting a new job. Identify learning and training opportunities and starting your own business. All the organisations offer comprehensive information via their websites and the majority also have a helpline you can call if you wish to speak to somebody. And of course, we have face-to-face -face options for those who prefer this at Skills Development Scotland. And please note that our services don't end when your job ends. You can access the services at any time now or in the future. So let's start looking at the organisations who can help you with understanding the redundancy process. First of all, we have ACAS, which is the Advisory Conciliation and Arbitration Service, who offers confidential advice and guidance to employers, employees and their representatives on all aspects of employment relations and rights, including redundancy pay, redundancy handling and unfair dismissal. And there's also the Scottish Trades Union Congress or STUC. So if you are a trade union member, you can rely on your union to advise and represent you on a range of issues, including coping with redundancy. They aim to ensure the maximum amount of information is made available to you to secure appropriate alternative employment and training opportunities to protect your rights, ensure fair selection procedures and compensation. The next section of this webinar will focus on the support available from DWP and I'm going to hand you over to them now. Hi, I'm Deborah and I work for the Department for Work and Pensions. I'm going to tell you about some of the services that we provide within your local job centres. So we provide help and support in finding another job. We can help you find work. We have Find a Job, our online job site with a vast range of vacancies available. This can be accessed 24 seven. And we also have the Job Help website, which provides support and links to other tools that can help you move into work. We have vacancies. Within our job centres, we have employer advisors who support employers with recruitment. They can bring local jobs into the local job centre for work coaches to match customers to. 
We have a rapid response service. Rapid response can support you identifying what transferable skills you have to move into work or address a training need you have to return to work. We can support you with benefits and how to claim them. We aim to provide information about benefits, how to claim them and where to find benefit calculators to let you see what you may be entitled to. For pensions, we can signpost you to the pension service for advice that will help you plan for your retirement. And lastly, health and employability support. Within your local job centre, there are disability employment advisors who specialise in supporting those with health conditions to move into or towards work. So Job Centre Plus help to find another job. Within local job centres, we will provide tailored support from work coaches. Whilst you're looking for work and claiming benefit, you will have the support from a work coach who will explore the types of work that you're looking for and tailor a claimant commitment to reflect your skills, experience and the jobs that you're looking for. We'll provide advice on training opportunities and employability skills support that's available. If you're looking to change careers or gain qualifications, then your work coach will give advice on local training provision and help with your employability skills. For example, creating a really good quality CV with you. Each local authority has their own range of training, which reflects their labour market. We'll support and organise work placements and work trials for you. In your local job centre, there will be employer advisors who can seek work placements and work trials for you to carry out a short trial to allow you to see if the job role is suited to you. It also lets you prove to an employer that you're the right person for the job. And this is particularly effective if you are considering a new career. We can give you advice on extra help available if you are disabled. In addition to your work coach, we have disability employment advisors who can case conference with your work coach to help and advise you on the support that you require managing your health condition in the workplace. It can also support you with an application for access to work. Access to work is a UK government service which can fund work, workplace adjustments, mentors to support you in the workplace, travel costs for travelling to work, and these are just some of the examples of the great support that's out there for you. Our vacancies, as I mentioned earlier, we can provide you with online vacancies any time, day or night at our Find a Job website. The site provides help to create and upload a CV which can be matched to suitable vacancies and sent direct to that employer. Find a Job has recently been updated to include more filters for service users to quickly identify local vacancies in their desired sector. It also lets you identify employers who are disability confident. And what that means for you is the employer has signed up to open and fair recruitment. They're committed to providing a variety of programmes to assist people with disabilities through the recruitment process. Social media is increasing in popularity. Within the Department for Work and Pensions, we use Twitter to promote vacancies and any training opportunities. Our Scottish Twitter feed is at JCP in Scotland, and we recommend that you follow the Scottish Twitter feed in addition to your local job centres. You can ask at your local job centre about local Twitter feeds which have vacancies near you and local information about jobs fairs and employers who are, intervie who are interviewing in your local job centre. Job centre flash rapid response. Help is available from rapid response for people from the point where they become at risk or under notice of redundancy and that is up until 13 weeks after the redundancy. You may be able to get financial help for travel to interview, childcare costs, employability training, tools and or equipment for starting work. Applications for rapid response assistance are made through a PACE advisor. The decision to fund training in every case is based on whether it will improve your prospects of finding work. For example, upskilling within a particular sector to gain a certificate or qualification. It can fund training that will remove a barrier to employment which prevents you from quickly returning to work. Training must be linked to vacancies in the local, local labour market that require your skills. If you have existing skills that will move you quickly into a job where vacancies are locally, then further training is less likely to be funded. Awards will only be made where there are no other funding streams available. And there are various funding streams 
out there um, within the different local authorities. So we will always look to these funding streams before we consider rapid response support. For more information, speak to a PACE advisor or email rrs.inquiries at dwp.gov.uk. Job Centre Plus benefits and how to claim. You may be wondering what benefits you can claim. There is help available to assist you in deciding which benefits to claim and how much you may be entitled to. There may be other financial support depending on your personal circumstances. Information can be found at the gov.uk website. Once you're there, type benefit calculators into the search bar and you'll find there's three options and there's also an additional link to your local benefit advisors. For all benefit and pension rates, visit the gov.uk website and type in the search bar benefit and pension rates 2022 to 2023 and that will give you the up-to-date information. New Style Job Seekers Allowance and New Style Employment Support Allowance. You may be able to claim contribution-based benefits if you've paid enough national insurance contributions in the last two to three years. For more information, if you are fit and looking for work and how to claim New Style Job Seekers Allowance, go online to gov.uk then search how to claim New Style GISA. For more information, if you're unfit for work and how to claim New Style Employment Support Allowance, go online to gov.uk, then search how to claim New Style ESA. Universal Credit. This is a payment to help with living costs and housing costs. The initial process is to claim online at gov.uk how to claim Universal Credit. Citizens Advice Scotland can help you make your claim to Universal Credit. This service is known as Help to Claim. Once the claim is made, the system is very user friendly and enables you to report any changes as they occur. You can send secure messages to your work coach about work or training, and you can also message your case manager about any of your payments. The messaging facility is known as your journal. It's not an instant messaging service, however, we aim to reply within 48 hours to any messages. In addition to new style benefits and universal credit, we have dual claims. There are some situations where a person may be entitled to new style benefit and universal credit at the same time. Examples of this is when you're entitled to new style benefit, what you want to claim for a child, or if you want to claim additional costs for housing costs in addition to your new style benefit. Now that was just a brief overview of Job Centre Plus services. We're now going to show you a short video about Alfie's journey. Thomas Cook obviously had been in the news quite a lot. You know, we had quite a rocky few years. I was devastated. Um, it had been a huge part of my life. They were advising us of the steps, things like what would happen next in respect of government redundancy um, and, our, and our entitlements. They also pointed us in the direction of the local job centre as well. During one of my first couple of visits with Brian, Brian actually said, um, had looked at you know my skill set, he had looked at my CV, we'd spent a lot of time exploring you know my experience. And he'd actually suggested to me that as well as you know my other jobs, job searches that I was going to be doing within retail and looking at retail management opportunities, Brian also suggested local government, he suggested um, the Scottish government and he also suggested the civil service. And I had actually, to be honest with you, had never I, I thought that these would be opportunities that my skills would be transferable. Someone who's been made redundant will have huge reservations about crossing their door. It's only natural that they don't want to be seen as unemployed. They don't want to be looking for state help. That's the myth around the job centre. What we focus on is getting you back into work. I'm about to start with the Department of Work and Pensions as an executive officer in the civil service, and I'm over the moon. If I had not went through this experience, I would not have been afforded the opportunity to apply for the civil service. Thank you for that really useful information there from our partners at DWP. So let's have a look at focusing on your rights and entitlements. At the Citizen Advice Bureau, their advisors can help if things go wrong with universal credit, benefits, housing, budgeting, debt, pensions and relationship issues which touch our daily lives. 
Like all our partners, everything they do is confidential and free. It's also worth noting that if getting back to work takes a little time, they can help you keep ready by volunteering opportunities backed by quality training and accreditation. HMRC are here to help with any tax issues and you may be able to claim back some of the income tax that you've paid. This could be because you've retired, returned to studying or because you've become unemployed. You should also notice, notify the tax credit office within one month of stopping or starting employment as this may affect your tax claim. HMRC don't offer face-to-face -face help but you can phone for advice or watch one of their webinars which I have available, for example, tax credits, how to tell HMRC that your paid work has ended. Money Helper is an organisation offering free and impartial information about money matters. So here's a short video about the support they offer and how to access it. As you can see, Money Helper is here to make your money and pension choices clearer and here to cut through the complexity and explain what you need to do and how to do it. So let's move on to business startup. Some people use the opportunity that redundancy represents to think about self-employment and we have two organisations to help with this. You may also be able to find additional support in your local area and we have local guides available via redundancyscotland.co.uk where you can check out local organisations involved in PACE. So Business Gateway, they offer practical help and guidance to business startups and entrepreneurs. So if you're considering self-employment or starting your own business, they offer a range of professional services and resources, which include a programme of fully funded workshops and events, they cover topics such as starting up, tax, finance, marketing, employing people and networking. They provide advice to suit specific business needs through a network of experienced business advisors. Business information is provided by a dedicated team providing information and support on all aspects of starting and growing a business. They also have strong partnerships with a wide variety of professional organisations to ensure that clients receive the best possible advice to match their business ambitions. You can take advantage of downloadable resources and tools on the Business Gateway website. And HMRC can help you with your tax obligations. The HMRC Small to Medium Enterprises Education Team provides a range of digital products which aim to support and help businesses to meet their obligations to HMRC. You can use their free online guides to help you get things right, for example, setting up and running your own business, which is an online guide about how to register your new business with HMRC, keeping records, sending your tax returns and payments. Now, any change can be stressful and redundancy can be a major cause of stress. The NHS Inform website suggests 10 ways to help you deal with stress and deal positively with change. So just Google NHS Inform Stress and you'll find lots of tips and techniques to help you with your mental well-being on the website. And then your top 10 tips include being active, exercise won't make your stress disappear, but it will help you clear your thoughts and let you deal with the problems more calmly. 
taking control, thinking I can't do anything about my problem, can make you stress worse. The act of taking control can ease stress and increase your well-being. Connect with people. A good support network of colleagues, friends and family can help you see things in a different way. And think about challenging yourself. Setting yourself new goals and challenges, such as learning a new language or a new sport, helps to build your confidence and this can help you deal with stress. By continuing to learn, you become more emotionally resilient as a person. Try to avoid unhealthy habits. It's a bit like putting your head in the sand. Um, it might temporarily provide some relief, but it won't make your problems disappear. You need to tackle the cause of your stress. Think about helping other people. Evidence shows that people who help others through activities such as volunteering or community work do become more resilient. And think about working smarter and not harder. Working smarter means prioritising your work, concentrating on the tasks that will make a real difference. This could be spending time ensuring your CV is up to date or researching the best way to tackle job interviews. Try to be positive. Look for the positives in life and the things for which you're grateful. You could try writing down three things that went well or for which you're grateful at the end of every day. And accept the things that you can't change. Changing a difficult situation isn't always possible. Try to concentrate on the things that you do have control over. When redundancies happen, focus on the things that you can control, such as looking for a new job and the organisations in peace can help you with this. And try our Face and Change Embracing Change webinar for more on dealing with positively with change in your work and life. And you can sign up at careers.myworldofwork.co.uk forward slash webinars. And if you have got your phone handy, you can scan the QR code on the slide for access to Public Health Scotland's Guide to Dealing with Stress. So let's move on to talking about Skills Development Scotland, who I work for. And I'm going to take you through the services that we provide. So we offer a full range of career management, employability and information services to enable you to make well-informed and realistic decisions about your next steps. Our advisors offer free and impartial information, advice and guidance using career coaching to help you achieve your goal. And we can support you to identify your current skills, expertise and strengths, put a career plan in place, find the routes into jobs and careers that may suit you, apply for new work, training or learning opportunities, as well as identify possible sources of funding, develop a CV and covering letters and prepare for interviews. We provide this support through our webinar programme and through one-to-one -one activities. And please remember that lots more information, including webinar registration, can be found at careers.myworldofwork.co.uk, which is our new website for our adult customers. Now I'm going to talk about a bit more in detail about the services available from Skills Development Scotland and how you can self-refer to them. So first of all, we have our webinars. So we offer free webinars to support you with your career decision making and finding a new job that is right for you. So the webinars that we have are first of all, Get Noticed, which helps you create engaging CVs and covering letters. Get Sorted, helps you improve your job search techniques. First Impressions Counts, focuses on preparing effectively for interviews. Facing Change, Embracing Change helps you developing your manage, career management skills. Horizon Scanning will help you explore your options and put a plan in place. And what have I got to offer helps you identify your skills, strengths and achievements. And we also offer one-to-one -one support and this allows you to discuss your ideas, options and next steps with fully qualified and impartial careers advisors. And this could include helping you to recognise your skills, strengths and expertise, identify what jobs and careers may suit you, explore entry routes into different jobs and careers, understand the labour market, pinpoint your learning and training needs, find out about sources of funding, we can review your CV and application forms and support you in preparing for interviews. 
So do call us on 0800 917 8000 to speak to an advisor, or you can scan the QR code on the screen to request a call. And the links are also on the PACE National Guide. So let's move on to talking about learning and training. So learning or training can help you to move through um, upskilling or reskilling. Upskilling is all about building on existing qualifications to enhance future employment prospects. Reskilling is about learning new skills and gaining new qualifications that could lead to a change in career. Learning can be flexible to suit you and is available from beginners to advanced level and it can be on a part-time, full-time, online or face-to-face -face basis. Learning and training can be vocational or academic and can be provided by colleges, universities, training providers, community learning centres, libraries and also online. Now, sometimes for your learning and training you might need some funding so we'll now move on and have a chat about that. So funding that you get will depend on your individual circumstances and here are some of the main ways to access funding. So Skills Development Scotland runs the individual training account and these are this is funding to provide you with up to £200 towards a single course or training episode per year and you must be a resident in Scotland and age 16 or over, not in education or involved in any other SDS funded programme, be unemployed and looking to get back into work or if you are in employment to be earning less than £22,000. There's also Future Learn and Google Career Certificates. And you can sign up for a range of short online courses by registering at careers.myworldofwork.co.uk. And you can sign up for free Future Learn opportunities. Other funding includes the Rapid Response Funding for training, available through Job Centre Plus, which was mentioned earlier, as well as funding from the Scottish Funding Council and the Students Awards Agency for Scotland, or SAS. And SAS covers funding for full and part-time higher education courses at colleges and universities. So funding can be quite complex, but do call our helpline on 0800 917 8000 to discuss your learning and training needs and to find the best source of funding for you. So whatever your personal circumstances, PACE can help you navigate your way through redundancy to help you get to where you want to be. And that's an example. Here is Audrey's story. I had a phone call from HR. Basically, they were shutting our factory down and it would close on the 21st of December. And you were just in shock because you're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? Because I'd worked there for 23 years. It was a long time. And all of a sudden, it's not there. With PACE, I got the confidence to look for a job that I was able to fit into my life. A job that you could give to people, a feel-good job. So out of the ashes comes a phoenix. I made my way to the college and said I was planning and doing nursing. A few weeks later, there was a jobs fair. A lot of care companies and I thought that could work around my lifestyle. After having met me, and having looked at a CV, having looked at a skill set, having looked at the potential options, nursing, clinical support work, she was helped to kind of decide social care, that could be for me. And the jobs fair kind of sealed it because there were employers there that were really kind of pleased, willing and thankful that there were people like Audrey there to speak to. I can't see me doing anything else now. I really can't. I know I've made the right choice and I think it's my true calling. <laughs> so I hope that Audrey's story has helped you to see the support that we can offer you. So whenever you need help, PACE is here to support you and the door is always open. Our helpline is available now and at any time in the future. Our professionally qualified careers advisors are skilled in dealing with people face with redundancy and indeed any career or job transition. You can arrange to meet face to face with an advisor at your local SDS career centre 
or speak to an advisor on our helpline. So just call us on 0800 917 8000. You're open 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. But out with these hours, you can leave a message and we will call you back. There's lots of other information available, as you can see on the slide, and you can visit redundancyscotland.co.uk and also careers.myworldofwork.co.uk. And do have a look at the PACE National Guide as well. You can sign up, obviously, for our webinars, which I've mentioned earlier on, and you can find these at redundancyscotland.co.uk and careers.myworldofwork.co.uk. And you can also make use of the positive steps to your future handbook, which supports our webinars. And you can also find this on careers.myworldofwork.co.uk. And on the site, there's lots of other information to help and support you. So do get in touch as and when you feel you want to do that. And thank you so much for attending today. And I really hope that you have found it useful. Bye-bye for now.